The following is a brief overview of what you can expect if your shipment has been selected for examination by Customs and Border Protection CBP, as part of Homeland Security or another government agency. U.S. Code Customs and Border Protection, under the direction of Homeland Security and the U.S. government, has the right and responsibility to physically examine any or all shipments entering or leaving the United States. CVP's mission is to protect our borders and ports of entry from terrorism, smuggling, illegal immigration, and agricultural pests, while facilitating the movement of legitimate travel and trade. According to U.S. Code, it is the responsibility of the importer or importer's agent to make all goods available for examination and bear the cost of such examinations. What types of examinations does CBP and other government agencies perform? MET, Merchandise Examination Team and Trade Enforcement Examinations. CBP is looking at imported trade products for visa requirements, duty, verifying invoices against product, checking for product compliance, copyright, licensing, and counterfeit products. CBPA, Customs and Border Protection Agriculture Examinations. CBPA is looking for pests and insects in wood packaging products and shipping containers. FDA, Food and Drug Administration Examinations. FDA is looking at food products along with other specific merchandise allowed into the United States. They are looking for defective, hazardous, or the smuggling of prohibited products or foodstuff. ATCET, Anti-Terrorism Contraband Enforcement Team. CBP is looking for illegal cargo, smuggling, weapons of mass destruction, and other contraband. An ATCET intensive examination requires complete unloading and staging of the shipment for piece-by-piece -piece examination of the cargo. The examination process. CVP determines whether a shipment will be selected for examination based on various factors, including a non-intrusive x-ray examination, review of manifests, and review of broker-importer entries. Once selected, the shipment must be moved to a customs examination site, such as price transfer or FCL logistics for examination. If a shipment is selected for trade enforcement, agriculture, or other government examinations, the importer or customs house broker selects the examination site and the trucker used for pickup and delivery of the shipment to the CES. If a shipment is selected for an ATCET contraband examination, it is moved to the examination site by the exam site operator, price transfer, within 24 hours of selection. Price transfer is not made aware of who the importer or CHB is and must obtain all relevant information from the steamship line or terminal. If a CHB broker becomes aware of an ATCET exam being scheduled, they should contact the ATCET to advise them and update the CHB and importer information on the shipment. After arriving at the examination site, the CES operator unloads the shipment from its original container and presents the merchandise to CVP for examination. Only CVP personnel examine a shipment. After examination, the shipment is either cleared or placed on hold for further evaluation. If cleared, the shipment is reloaded and made available for pickup. For ATCET examinations, the CES is required to obtain written copies of the 3461 from the broker or importer showing overall CVP clearance before a shipment can be released. Expected Time Frames Most examinations are completed within 24 hours of arriving at the price transfer or FCL CES facilities. Some examinations, referred to as exams in progress, require follow-up investigation, review, laboratory analysis, and will take longer to clear by CVP. Steamship line and terminal holds for charges, documentation, or interchange verification of the pickup trucker can cause additional delays to the release process. If you have further questions regarding the CBP examination process, please download the PDF document for a more in-depth explanation or contact us at 
397-7423 and ask for an examination manager at Price Transfer or FCL Logistics. Thank you. We look forward to handling your examination, transportation, and warehousing requirements in the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach.